Hi guys, we are in Sardinia and in this video I'm gonna show you the beautiful Stintino, uh, wonderful caves of Cala di Luna in the eastern coast. Then we're gonna dive in the national park just near Alghero and uh, after that uh, you're gonna see the wonderful south coast of uh, Sardinia. So let's get started. This is Stentino, it's a region on the north of the island and uh, Stentino is famous for its beaches and sea, uh, considered among the most beautiful in the whole Mediterranean Sea. The most famous Pelosa beach that you uh, can see from here, turquoise water, always calm and clear. The beach has been nominated several times as one of the most beautiful beaches in the world so it's uh, hard to describe its beauty. This beach is considered one of the most beautiful in Sardinia and Italy. Uh, the colors of its waters, um, you can compare it with the swimming pool, uh, while the sand uh, is white and soft. How you can get here? It's not that far from Alghero Airport. You just pass um, Porto Torres and follow the signs. We came here from Porto Torres because uh, it was our first day of the trip and uh, our boat arrived uh, Porto Torres at 10 a.m. and we went straight away to this place because it's only it was only 30 minutes away from the port uh, where we arrived. So don't miss it if you have a chance and uh, also this uh, tower standing alone uh, located on a small island. This Pelosa tower is iconic and uh, you're gonna recognize it from many photos of Sardinia and um, yeah it was uh, built on a strategic position to control the boats and uh, it was built in like 15th century and uh, now you can hike here as you see there is some uh, trails so you can swim or take a paddleboard and then hike around so now uh, important information because we didn't know it uh, when we arrived, uh, as we are here not the first time, we were thinking that uh, nothing changed, but uh, yes, it did change. So here the thing, uh, this beach is visited by an increasing numbers of people every year. And for this reason, they put some restrictions to visit this place. Now entrance is only allowed to a limited number of people by a ticket fee. You have to make a reservation to visit the beach at uh, lapelosastintino.com. We didn't know it and uh, when we arrived they didn't uh, let us go to the beach. Can you imagine our reaction? We spent a night on a boat, then we drive and uh, we were so disappointed, especially our little one. And then uh, just next to this beach here, uh, we found the private beach and the guy was kind enough. He gave us uh, two sun chairs for three hours uh, till the mid of the day because everything was booked as well here. And uh, so we could enjoy this place till the lunch time. here I'm filming you with drone the beach where uh, we've been last time for free and now you have to book it in advance and even we asked the woman on the entrance of this beach I'm like what the site I'm book I'm booking it no problem and she told us that oh everything is fully booked till the end of the month so this is like the most beautiful place and uh, be prepared to visit it and uh, enjoy this beauty. So it was Tintino on the north of the island, then we're gonna go to the Cala di Luna on the east, Alghero in the west and uh, Villa Sinus in the south. 
So this is like the most, the best on each of the uh, part of the island. We woke up very early to go to Cale di Luna to visit these beautiful, amazing caves. To get there we had to drive two hours because we are staying on the middle of the island um, at our auntie and uncle house. The road was so beautiful and then we arrived to the marina. From uh, here we will take a boat. I highly recommend you to take a boat to visit the Cala di Luna. From this marina called uh, Cala Gonon. I will not say most of it but I saw a lot, a lot of excursion, boat excursion. Uh, goes from this uh, marina. It's a little zodiac boat with uh, 14 people maximum on it. I booked it on a trip advisor just two days uh, in advance and uh, it cost us uh, for three of us uh, 200 something euro. There are lots of excursions on TripAdvisor for any kind, and uh, but I recommend you to take a, a little zodiac boat. I will explain why later. And here we are visiting the famous Cala di Luna beach. I will say you again that this beach is one of the most beautiful beaches of Sardinia. And uh, here you see these beautiful caves which blow my mind when I saw it. It was so, so beautiful. Of course, if you will Google this place, you will see this cave with nobody. Uh, I guess it's in the early morning, but yes, this is the real uh, situation. Anyway, these uh, caves are a perfect framing for photos and uh, also the good place to uh, uh, look for shade in the summer month. We enjoyed it so much. I was not disappointed and it is beautiful and it's like a secret spot because to get to this island there are only two ways or you take a boat or you hike and a hike is like four kilometers on the sun you can get here by car so it's truly a secret spot and if you remember the movie step away uh, with madonna so they film it here on this beach and also uh, mr robinson and uh, many other movies. This is the one of the scenic beaches on the eastern coast of Sardinia. We continue our boat trip and uh, we're still visiting the Gulf of Orosei. If you take a boat trip like us, you will have uh, several stops and uh, uh, you will have like uh, three stops on the beach. Also you can uh, rent the boat, you don't have to have a license. You see these guys, they renting it for sure, so uh, if you rent the boat, the price are not that high but you have to Keep in mind that there are some extras uh, for the fuel uh, and uh, for the entrance. This is going to be our second stop and we are on the line. There are two boats before us and we are going to wait a few minutes. This is the place of incredible beauty. 
this turquoise and the azure blue water, limestone cliffs, a clear like a crystal water, uh, making this place a day one of the best for snorkeling and diving. You will see a lot of dive boat. We were looking for a place to dive. We didn't shoot this uh, coast because there are so many boats and uh, we better go to the western coast which is uh, would be our next stop One more thing about the boat trip, if you will rent it, uh, if you will rent a boat, you will probably arrive here and you will pay the entrance fee to this guy. Then you have another option to take a big boat um, and uh, if you will take a bigger boat than the Zodiac, you will not visit so many places. It's not stops everywhere. I don't know how about you guys, but I fell in love in this place. What a wonderful Sardinia. You will probably also visit some sea caves with incredible blue water. This is all about uh, Cala di Luna, Eastern Coast and uh, Golf of Orosei. Best way to visit by boat. Choose your uh, boat trip, book it online, take a lunch with you or if not there a uh, restaurant on Cala di Luna beach. And we are going back to the marine. On the end, they served us a glass of Prosecco. That was a good surprise. This is our next stop, Western Coast. We're gonna dive here. This is a dive center just near uh, Alghero. And um, first we're gonna walk in the town. Alghero is the big town and uh, you can walk long time here and there are lots of shops, souvenirs, restaurants, bars, everything. This is a red coral and there are lots of red color of Sardinia. And there are lots of souvenirs with this uh, coral. This is an, quite a nice town, but we stop very quick just to buy some souvenirs. Many tourists are staying here because in Alghero there is a big airport. If you fly to Sardinia, there is a chance that you will fly to this town. We are back to our dive spot. Uh, this is the national park of Porto Conte, and um, this is an incredible, beautiful location uh, for the dive center. You can um, stay here overnight and uh, dive uh, as long as you want. They even have a night dive. We're gonna have a two dive, and uh, we paid like a 60 euro per dive with the um, equipment included. Here is a little story. Uh, my sister and my husband, they are dive instructors. And uh, this is how we met. I was a student of my husband and uh, he was my dive instructor. So, sis, Chris, go. I'm jumping next. <laughs>
were so many sea caves. We had a wonderful dive. Our instructor was brilliant. So we enjoyed it so much. And uh, I'm highly recommending you uh, this dive center. The location is beautiful, just near the national park. Uh, so you don't have to spend uh, so much time on a boat. And, um, and it's clear water, you can swim around if you're not diving. Look at this. So if you are in Alguero, there are lots of beaches and uh, there are really no problem to uh, find a beautiful beach to swim. And you can do a lot of shopping around. Of course, the food is the first. What you can buy, the souvenir is second. Now we are going to the very south of the island, to the Villa Sinus, and we're gonna show you the south coast of the island. We checked at the several uh, beaches on the south coast, but uh, we chose this. For me, it was the most beautiful. So this is the Spiaggia di Porto Quinco, if you say this. I hope I pronounce it good. The beach on the south are more crowded, I think because uh, it's, it's not that far from uh, the Cagliari, so it's a big town with the airport. It's only two hours away from uh, Villa Sinus. Mm -hmm. 